Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So this is kind of an interesting one. Uh, my wife was looking online last night and someone put on uh, one of the uh, Facebook pages that they had a whole bunch of stuff put at the end of the road uh, and it was free for the taking. So just kind of coming out here, it's nearby and uh, wanted to see uh, what kind of goodies they had. But before I do, it is garbage day as well and as you can see, I've already found something and I haven't even got to the address yet. So I'm going to pick this up, the satellite dish here. Some nice gold in there and uh, definitely some steel. Um, and uh, so here we go. I'm almost at the address as well, so it kind of works out. But here we go. So here we go. Hopefully uh, I don't load up the car too much before I get to this address, but this is to take up some weight but that's all right so I know one of my subscribers asked if I would do another video on a garbage day and they enjoy those ones so kind of I guess killing two birds with one stone here it's a beautiful morning very early it's not even six o'clock yet as you can see a lot of people already have their garbage out so we'll see what else we get so my GPS says I'm only 250 meters away from the house um, so <laughs> we'll see beautiful like you said you can hear the birds singing this is kind of a side street there actually if I can the lake is right to the left of me you can actually kind of see it oh there's a couch and I don't know if other people other scavengers other scrappers have seen this video or the announcement last night but we'll see I'm hoping they didn't so we'll see see if I get a shot of the lake there this is I think I'll be able to see it through the trees no nope. okay well, this is it we'll see a lot of garbage bags here car seat there is a hand there but this is not the address I don't think I always like grabbing these. I could put a bunch of stuff in this. Uh, steel right now is at an all time high. Or tin shred, if you will. Um, they look at the thickness at a scrap yard. It's gotta be thicker than a quarter inch. Uh, baking sheets is definitely gonna go into my tin. But uh, again, I think it's going right now for $259 a ton in Canada, which is great. I've never seen it at that price, as are all scrap prices right now. Um, so, great time to be scrapping, um, you know, making some extra money if you have to. Or, for me, I also enjoy taking the stuff out of the landfill. So, it's a win win. I think I can see it up ahead there. Oh, beautiful area. I've never actually been down this area. So, glad I'm here. There's a window frame. Pastas. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I uh, haven't gotten to it yet, so not sure if it's around the corner. I'm just, like I said, moseying around the lake here. I don't see. There is the lake in the corner. Perhaps. Someone has already come by, or not too sure. But either way, this is gonna turn into a scrapping video for sure. What am I doing here? I didn't even see that. So, at least I got a fan here. It probably actually works. So, I'm gonna look at that. 
that's what's interesting about scrapping is sometimes you look to the left you don't see the on the right and if you other way around sometimes <laughs> but I don't see this big pile of stuff like I said it could definitely have been picked over as well um, especially if it's been online but uh, that's okay I put my seatbelt on you gotta make sure you look around because scraps can be anywhere nope that must have been the pile right there with the car seat like uh, like I said a lot of people come through and I'm not sure what's in those garbage bags but I am curious now this is the place. I don't want to open up garbage bags, but some stuff. Definitely. Yeah, I don't want to start opening up garbage bags here. But some stainless steel. Yeah, some pipes here. So some pipes. Um maybe perhaps upper left room yeah this is definitely for uh, books for William someone has must have come by maybe what happened was they finished the announcement was on last night so perhaps what happened was uh, anything that wasn't done they bagged up for garbage day because garbage day is this morning but no matter I did find a couple trinkets on this road and I will just, as I said, turn this into a scrapping video. Um, garbage pickup. So I did see some lawn chairs there, uh, camping chairs. I don't like getting the camping chairs. Um, they're bulky. Uh, there's not a lot of weight to them. Some cushions there. Um, but, uh, you know, if I had a truck perhaps uh, but uh, you know they are still steel metal um, but uh, again as I said it's uh, right now my garage is getting a little full I'm trying to get that under control and uh, if I you know had a little more space then I think probably but uh, for now I can't do it and or if I was going to the scrapyard in the next couple days. Oh, did I miss it? There's a dumpster. I'm gonna check this dumpster. Dumpsters are always great sources of material. I am curious. Um, you know, when they're doing renovations, it is morning. I don't wanna impose, but I do wanna just quickly see if there's anything in this dumpster oh so there is building supplies dumpster diving is great I do see a oh, little bit of copper wire here not much but uh, that right there is going to be your toilet sometimes you'll find brass as a mop <laughs> I'll take this little tin here and that's all there is but dumpsters are awesome scrap places um, this this little piece of copper wire here um, this is actually going it would be classified as 60% copper recovery as is um, this I have a stripper at home as you can see in there really nice piece of uh, copper this uh, actually I'm, once I strip it down however this will be classified as number one copper um, this is thicker than 16 gauge uh, copper is when we look at scrap yards in order to be classified as um, bare bright this may even be bare bright once I strip it down I'm looking inside it is shiny um, we'll see what the coating is if it is really really shiny 
It could also be classified as bare bright because bare bright, the rule is, it only pertains to copper wire and it has to be thicker than 16 gauge, which is the thickness of a lead pencil. If not, as I said, this will go as number one. Bare bright right now is actually going at $4.95. I just brought a load in, it was at $5.10, but it's gone down from there. Uh, number one copper is going for $4.85 which is awesome as well. So not much, but you know, it definitely adds up. I store it up and you know, it will uh, be a nice payoff at the end. Um, as you can see, end of the road, short video. Unfortunately, um, that pile was uh, looked over, but as you can see, I uh, just have a satellite dish, a fan, some shred, a little bit of copper wire. And I actually right there have a, it's hard to see, um, a TV that I also found on the way in um, Again, hopefully you enjoyed the video short one, but hopefully a good one like share subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video Tin man out